Hey guys, my name is Doug with Infotainment.com. Today we're in the late model Chrysler 300, the 2015 Plus. Uh, this screen looks very familiar to most of you. It's called the RA3 radio. That is the uh, base model or um, entry level radio. You can upgrade to what's called the RA4, which Chrysler considers their premium radio. It's very easy to do. We send them pre-programmed to plug and play in your vehicle. So today I'm going to show you a little bit about how easy it is to remove this system and install the RA4. It's uh, really easy. All you'll need is a dash pry tool or just flathead screwdriver and then a Phillips head screwdriver. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do is shut the vehicle off, open up your door. That'll put the radio to sleep while we're uninstalling it. You're gonna to wanna to remove this climate control panel here. You can use your dash tool. I find it easy just to put your hands underneath and just pop it out. It's just held in, held in with retaining clips, so don't worry about breaking anything. Disconnect the connector and set it aside. Now this particular bezel surround, um, again, you can use your pry tool, or in this case, just pull up on this. Same as the climate control, it's just held in with retaining clips. You're going to want to disconnect this little connector here that is for the clock and set that aside. Now to remove the actual radio itself, there's going to be four Phillips head screws here. You can slide it out and then remove the connectors that are in the back. Now the large connector is a little tricky. You have to push this part in and out and it'll slide right out. We can now install the RA4 radio using the exact same connectors. You'll notice it'll slide right back into place. And you could screw in those four screws. We can now reinstall the bezel surround. You may want to remove this screen protector. and then reinstall your climate control. All right, let's fire it up. In this particular RA4, we went ahead and preloaded it with the SRT performance pages, which is an add-on option on our website. And I'll demonstrate that here in a minute. So this is the RA4 system. Um, you'll notice it looks quite the same, um, but there are a few differences. Number one, your FM radio will now have HD radio capability. So when you tune to the channel you want to listen to, hit the HD, it'll buffer the reception and it will sound crystal clear. You'll have the same media controls, Bluetooth streaming, aux, USB and SD card input. Your controls will be the same. Whatever your vehicle is featured with, you'll see it here in the controls. This is a 2016 model radio, so you'll notice the Uconnect apps button in the middle. The 15 uh, has them over here, but here's all the different apps or controls. Primarily navigation. Now in this particular case, I'm gonna drag and drop nav over to here now you have full feature navigation. It has your uh, standard options with uh, GPS devices, your address inputs, recent destinations, points of interest. You can set home, um, trails, so on and so forth. 
You also notice it pinpointed our location immediately. Once you drive a little bit, the calibration um, screen here will go away. The RA4 navigation is great. It has the 3D landmarks, 2D, 3D maps. It's one of the best uh, nav systems on the market right now. Obviously, you have your phone as well, just like in your RA3. Um, I'll also demonstrate the upsell that we have on our website, which is the performance pages. This is something that's not required um, for the upgrade, but some people like to add this. It has engine data on it. It allows you to do uh, 0 to 60 timers, 0 to 100, eighth of a mile, quarter miles, the braking distance. You can save them as your best, your last, or your current. It has real-time gauge data. These two options here will show you the gauges. G-force, which is kind of cool when you drive, You'll notice um, the, G, the G force will be different in different sides of the vehicle, and it will display that. We also have a performance pages video on our YouTube channel if you want to check that out. And last but not least, real time engine data. So as you're driving, you'll get your miles per hour, current horsepower, torque, the gear, and your oil pressure. So as you see here, we went ahead and upgraded to the RA4 navigation full featured radio. Um, the other thing I would like to mention quick is when you upgrade to the RA4, you'll also get the Sirius Travel Link feature. This is an additional subscription through Sirius. It'll give you local fuel prices, movie listings, sports scores, weather, radar, uh, really cool uh, setup here. And additionally, the Sirius XM traffic feature, which is really cool. When you're going to a certain destination, if it notices traffic somewhere, um, it'll reroute you automatically. That's a really cool feature too. The travel link and the traffic feature is obviously, like I mentioned, an additional cost through SiriusXM. So if you guys want some more information, come check us out, infotainment.com. Um, if you're interested in the performance pages, you could do that upon checkout. Or if you already have the screen and you don't mind um, upgrading and you want to just put the performance pages on your current system, it works on the RA3 and RA4. You can go to obdgenie.com and they can sell you a programmer to enable that. At infotainment.com, we also offer rear cameras, front cameras, side cameras. We can mirror your smartphone onto the screen, digital TV tuners, so on and so forth. So come check us out there. Thanks for watching, guys.